Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kyle here with another Guardian Tales video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new meta shift that has been taken over Guardian Tales. I think this is a pretty unprecedented change here in Guardian Tales when it comes to the meta. Seaside Sohi is really taking over, and I'm pretty surprised by it. So let's look into this. I think this is pretty interesting. If we're looking at the top rankings now, look, it's Sohi everywhere, and Future Princess is completely out of the top, and in the beginning, uh, for the first couple days, it was just like the top four or five people, but now it's completely changed. But not only is it completely changed, but a lot of different characters here. This is massive. So it's gone completely, completely dark for a bit there. Like the, there's a couple team choices here. So if we're looking at the top ranking, we have Agba, we have Sohi, we, and then we have Queen Idol Eva, and then we also have Noxia here. So like that's a really good team. Then Lupina, they, I haven't seen Lupina in the top or in, in anywhere in the close team in a long time. So we have Lupino, Agma, Eva, and then Sohi is the lead now. And then that's taking over instead of Future Princess. So I think this is a massive change. We have um, Lawn in here in the top. That's insane. I haven't seen one of those in there. Makes sense that we're seeing Aerial kind of pop back up as a leader as well. That, but that's kind of normal. Like I've seen these comps before. Essentially Mono Dark, but he's running Nari in there as well. Um, but a ton of sea, Seaside Sohi here. This is something I absolutely did not predict when I was looking at her kit reveal. I never even could, I couldn't imagine that she would be such a meta Coliseum character. So I think she's one of the best characters in the entire game at this point. Like, and then, because not only is she amazing in Coliseum, she's essentially amazing everywhere when it comes to pretty much all forms of content. And then also, she's really good in Arena. And she's essentially the, the main Arena character. If we look at the rankings, it's a ton of Lilith, Sohi, Future Princess. And, but so he's everywhere, whether you pair her with other characters, either with Lin, Future Princess is still meta here, but there's, I would say that by far the most popular team comp is Lilith, Sohi, and Future Princess. I was really not expecting her to be this meta of a unit. I would say this is one of the first uh, metas truly dominated by a melee style character like this. And there was a lot of like Lilith plus Beth combos, but at this point, it's really settled in on Sohi, Agma as like the new main meta characters when it comes to Colosseum. And then Idol Eva and Lupina are getting a ton of value here that, you know, currently those characters I use consistently, I use them every day in my raid teams, but I haven't fully max limit broken them, but I'm gonna consider doing that now because they're, uh, they're good. And then another thing to note is Idol Eva is actually getting a buff next patch. So, so this character, not only is she already meta but next patch she's getting a buff really speaks to just how dominant this team is going to be for not only for this patch but for patches to come and then the next hero is a light hero so i don't see this meta changing anytime soon because the next heroes coming through are going to be a light healer it'd be i'd be shocked to see a basic dominated team lose to the next light hero so I think this is very interesting. This is really shaking things up here. Mainly the big changes are Coliseum, but when it comes to Arena as well, just watching other people that play a lot of Arena content, plus just seeing how dominated the top of the leaderboard is, and just playing it myself, so he just feels so strong right now. And Lilith does it too. Like Lilith is essentially a Beth replacement. So it's it just, um, I think, I was watching Two Moons, and I think he puts it really well. It's just a big stat check character uh, when it comes to Arena, and that's you know not really the funnest way to be able to play the game is just like, hey, I'm just stronger than you. But really, well, when you look at her kit, she really scales well with the more you whale, the more collection bonuses you have, the more benefit she's going to have because she's all percentage based. So, so as and as the game goes on further, I believe she's going to get even stronger as we get more and more. Um, base levels increase, kind of like how Bianca has been getting stronger based on that. I think um, as he said so, he's only going to get stronger from here on out as well. So uh, I just want to do a quick update here because I feel like this is a pretty unprecedented meta shift in here in Guardian Tales. It's been Future Princess all day for the last like six months. So and then not only that, but I was I'm really surprised that this is the character that changed it. Um, if you guys predicted this, I mean, like, I don't understand her being a meta unit, but 
I was never predicting this, where she's going to completely change the landscape of how Colosseum is played massively. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Meta Shift. If there's anything else you'd like to add to this discussion, feel free to add it down there. And with that, guys, I'm out. Peace.